Rob Flello, Member of Parliament for Stoke-on-Trent South, and I'm here at the fantastic uh, Usdor political conference uh, here in sunny Manchester. I think what we've got to do is actually make um, all the voters out there realise that this is a real choice. This isn't some uh, little exercise in a, in, a, in a competition somewhere. This isn't uh, a bit of fun. This is real, serious life, literally life or death stuff. This is about whether we have a health service that works for people or provides a profit for a private company. This is about whether workers at work actually have their rights looked after or whether it's just about who can make the biggest profit at the expense of the workers. It's about so many of those things. That's what we've got to get across. Well, I think one of the things, we, you just look at our track record, I mean, you know, we are the party of workers' rights. We are the party that actually you know, took, as part of the trade union movement, as part of the workers' movement, uh, made sure that people actually are safe when they go to work, for one thing, that they actually have things like maternity leave. All the rights that we you know, enjoy, and you know, even the ones that we've now lost, were there because of previous Labour governments. So I think the first point is our track record. The second point really is about, you know, under an incoming Labour government, whether or not it's in the manifesto, it's about knowing that we will restore the rights that have been stripped away. We've done it in the past, we're going to do it again. And I think finally really, it's, it's the direction of travel. This government, this Conservative government, ideologically does not think that workers should have rights. It thinks that employers should have all the rights in the world, you know, to, to hire and fire at will. Um, they do not care, they're not bothered about the rights of workers. We are the only party that actually care because it's who we are. But it's a direction of travel, isn't it? It's about making a clear statement that says we've got to get the minimum wage up to a living wage. Uh, and yes, we can't just all overnight just suddenly say, right, as of tomorrow, it's going to be a living wage for everybody. It's about sort of making clear that employers know that they are going to be under pressure, that they are going to be looked at very carefully, and that over time we will raise the minimum wage until the point at which it is a genuine living wage. So it's about setting out the, the path, really. Um, but I won't be, you know, as, a, as a Labour Member of Parliament, I won't be happy until that's a genuine living wage. And it is a tragedy, and it's a tragedy of the West in a way, isn't it? It's that it's it, in every, pretty much every developed country, we've seen people's engagement with the democratic process falling and falling. And I think, in part, you know, we can we can blame anybody and everybody, and, um, but you know, reality is, in part, I think it's down to a media that very cynically says to people, "Don't bother voting; it doesn't make any difference." Well, it does make a difference, and what we have to do, what I have to do as a Labour Member of Parliament, is every conversation I'm, I have, I'm out on the doorsteps constantly, it feels at the moment, um, but I'm out on the doorsteps of the 36,000 houses in my constituency alone, explaining to them. And I think that's the only way that we'll actually make people understand that it's not something you know, that they don't have to worry about. This is their lives. This is what happens when they open their front door, indeed, even before they open their front door. It's what affects them, what affects their children their parents, everybody is affected by party politics and if they don't engage then they're effectively saying to their neighbours that do engage, here have my vote, you go and cast it for me. That's effectively what they're doing. Well I, I think that's a sham. I think what the Tories are saying is, is simply um, warm words and, and no reality because you know unemployment might seem to be down but actually that's because people are taking three or four jobs because that's the only way they can make men ends meet. People are on zero hour or, or, or almost zero hour contracts. Um, and again, it looks on paper as though they've got a job. The reality they know is they haven't got a job. And austerity, uh, to me, this is a fig leaf. The government are taking you know, what happened with the global downturn in 2008 and the fact that you know, we lost the election, they didn't win it, we lost the election in 2010. What they're doing is hiding behind that. They're using badges like austerity uh, to get through what are ideological changes. They are things that they want to get through uh, to you know, basically wind down the, the state, get rid of the NHS, make it so that workers have no rights at all, uh, make it so that employers can pay poverty pay. It's an assault on the low paid, it's an assault on the people with disabilities, it's an assault on people who are, who are different in some way. Um, and that's the reality of austerity. Austerity isn't about paying off the, the nation's credit card. And how do we know that? That's because the, this government has gone out and taken out 20 more credit cards and maxed them out. I think quite simply, your vote is absolutely crucial. Now, if you want to vote for a government that doesn't care about you as an employee, doesn't care about your workers' rights, then vote for the other lot, don't vote Labour. 
If you want a, a, a country where to get health care depends on what size of your bank account is before you get decent health care, then don't vote for Labour. If you want a country where um, you are completely ignored unless you're a multimillionaire, then don't vote for Labour. But if you value yourself, your children, where you work, the people around you, if you have those values, if you want a hope for the future and not a despair for the future, then you've got to vote Labour and you've got to tell your work colleagues and you've got to tell your, uh, your neighbours. Never probably in, in the last 50 years, if not longer, has a vote at a general election been so important. If you value it and if you care, get out and vote Labour, because otherwise we only have a recipe of despair.